Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am CJ or some of you call me who says I'm cute. I hope y'all are doing well tonight. Hoping we're on the right stream. Hey Russell, hey Mace, hey Carol. Hey, y'all over on Twitch. Hey, hey Bradley. Uh, and welcome. Great to see you here. Hey, Sue. Hey, Roro. Hey, Boop. So much going on. That feels like, hey Suzanne, I feel like we have so, so much going on right now. <laughs> oh. Hey Sid. Hey Judith. And I should have grabbed the link to my video yesterday because if y'all haven't watched it, Y'all should watch it after the stream. Hey, Raina. I do have a lot of <laughs> the bunnies. Um, hey, Tina. Hey, cute kitty. I haven't spent for this catalog yet. So something will go over. I really do hope y'all have a wonderful week. Well, for some of you, it's already Friday. Some of you, it's Thursday night still. And I appreciate y'all joining me when I know March Madness is going on. Basketball games. Trust me. A game I want to watch, too. All right. We have... Hey, Katina. I can't believe you're awake already. Yes, Mace, it is probably, yeah, break for you. It's break. My kids are on break. I braved them. <laughs> so they should hopefully be quiet. Hey, Tanya. Thank you, Russell, so much. Y'all, that's my new video if you haven't seen it. And I'll go over it a little bit more tonight in case anybody has questions. I need to answer some comments later on there. I appreciate y'all watching it. It has surprised me the number of people who hadn't realized in there. Woo woo! Hey, Katina's got the day off tomorrow. I hope a lot of people do. Susan, I'm so glad. It, it only took me like, I think four tries to get to a point where I like where I was to actually spend the diamonds and finish it. <laughs> and I'll kind of go over some of it tonight, too, because I'm almost to the point where I can do it again uh, on a different item. But... Hey, playing Heyday is great. I am silo full at the moment. Put my. So I've been saving up. Okay, we have. Oh, yeah. So for colleges, most colleges are ending their spring break and or have, and some schools took it earlier, and my kids are starting. My. Uh, one of my nephews doesn't start until next week, and he gets the whole week off, though. So it's interesting to see that nobody's really on the same schedule. It is almost the month end, you guys. So we have our normal month end. Tomorrow is your last day for Farm Pass if you haven't... 
worked on them and you want to. More than that, it. So, it, your baby farms, if you want that free road, take advantage of it. Tomorrow, get yourself prepped. It's your last day to do all those. Shouldn't take you too many points left. We can go look at one of my baby farms. Uh, let's jump down to this one. I know I haven't done the farm pass on here. So, 85. Double tomorrow should be 170. Shouldn't take you too long. It's about 10 tasks. So, depending on what you have, you can easily, you know, like I said, I haven't done any of them, easily get that taken care of and going. And as you can see, I didn't play the event on here. We have new deco coming into the game tomorrow. We have the Greg's Easter eggs uh, or through tomorrow, but I don't believe it's the last day collect them. I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe you have an extra day, maybe two, you may have till the end of the month to collect, but I'm hoping to get confirmation either in Ricky's stream later, maybe that'll be, he'll have it by then, or um, Jen will have it tomorrow, but tomorrow is the last, um, like, or final day for the collection. We have the Chill Bunny Derby going on, which so many people always get confused by with this one, and... We've got in-game offers going on. If you haven't closed out your valley, you need to because we'll start a new one around the 3rd of April. So in-game, we have booster bundles. And these are a little different. They're, so only this one has the probability on it. As you can tell, uh, but when you get to the big packs, when you're talking like, especially 12, and you're, if you go just off of the five stars in here, that's a good majority of them. And you just don't, this isn't even all of the boosters we have, so... You have to use that one as a guide. We have the three diamond offers. The trellis I'll pull out. It does come with the little birds. There's two of them. I put mine away, but I'll bring it back out. Hey, Chris. I love the trellis. It's very cute. I'm debating on getting a second one. Not sure if I will or won't, but... I have the jumping bunny and it's cute, but after a while it starts to make me a little nauseous watching it. But I love the trellis garden. And really you could use it even into a fall deco, I think. So I don't expect these to go past either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, just because they've already been up for a while. The trellis may, but if you haven't gotten them, I would get them tonight. We, we've, we have yet to get an Easter decoration for Maggie. And while I would really, really love to have one, Tanya, I'm not, I'm actually not very surprised that we don't have one. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but in reality, we're not even calling it an Easter event. We're calling it spring holiday. Uh, so there's already enough designs that could be taken as spring related. And I think that's why they don't do anything special because then other people are going to want one special for like, um, 
like a Ramadan house or, and, and it would get really crazy or a St. Patrick's Day house. Although that one would be so cute to have like a fully greenhouse. Okay, Suzanne, secretly, think about it this way. When you close the gang down and you're not in it active, the bunny stops jumping. That's how you can think about it. Bunny doesn't have to jump if you're not in the game. So that's when it gets addressed. That's how I tell myself to think about it, at least. Because otherwise I do feel really bad, especially for some of our, like, the band deco that plays all the time. They be played all the time. And, like, when the game shuts down, they all take a rest. They're only active when I'm playing. It also sometimes limits my playtime when I'm playing a day. And I'm not spending four or five hours playing in a, in a whole, yeah, huh. just Rose and Ernest don't quite get that. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to have Daring News tomorrow. They're going to announce our new chick voucher bird. Please let it be a good one. We got the ostrich in the sanctuary. So now it's speculation on what are we going to get. And Ricky has teased so many different types of potential birds. That I, I want... There's somewhere in there lies a little bit of truth. Always. But I'm not sure which one it would go with. Oh, yeah. there's They're definitely going to do an April Fool's. Uh, at least we know it won't be surrounded by dark mode. Or night mode. So we all know that can't happen. Hey, Cole. But I'm curious what they're going to do for it. It's so much going on. And we still haven't gotten a lot of the deco on Griggs. Let's go over to Griggs, you guys. Because I'm a little concerned that we haven't... Like, this will probably be farm pass because it has a chick in it, to be all honest. But, it, I mean, we'd have to have a lot of farm pass decos if we were doing that. Uh, Bradley, I would love, I've been begging, begging for animals that don't, that, that aren't birds, that need chick vouchers, because I don't want more birds. But I've also said, like, For some of the pets, we have so many of them. This one's different than the one in the shop. Yeah. We don't have this one yet. Is that, is that, is that in seasonal, you guys? We haven't gotten the bunny with the carrots. We haven't gotten the chocolate bell. Um... I'm hoping the garden deco being out doesn't mean we're getting those back in the movie tickets because I'm going to I'll lose it. I don't remember this being this is not part of that set though. So we do have maybe a hint of like winter here. This is from last year. We know we're we don't know where we're getting this one. And I like that they have like, this one's got a bunny coming out of it. So that's really cute. But where are we going to get these? So are we going to get, there's just so much overload right now. Wow, you guys are talking. Hey, Jessica. There's only five eggs. Cute kitty. 
and there's some confusion about when the, um, okay, I gotta scroll back up for you guys for a second. Yeah, I really am not a big fan of the birdhouse right now. And I'm really hoping a, big, a new one comes. Then um, there's just so, there could be a task of that. That is my guess. But I'm really surprised. I'll, I wouldn't be surprised, but I would be. Because then we still have it covered Ramadan. And that ends in like two weeks, I believe. Now I can confirm that probably for us. I think we only have two weeks left to, to Ramadan ending. And while I don't see any new Ramadan that goes out on Greg, I'd be surprised because that is one of their big deco sellers usually. And we usually celebrate it that they would skip it this year. I'm not terribly surprised it's after And this is the bundle that we had, which actually did not have these plants in it, but, um, I mean, it just, I'd be really surprised if they skip Ramadan. So then I'm like, well, if we don't get Ramadan, the, oh, I thought maybe, oh no, wait. Tanya, he lost his... He can't sign back in with his Supercell ID. No, it's not. So the two... We have to go back to see the catalog. Hold on. So we... Yeah, that the one is. You're right. The fancy egg is. And the workshop is. But there's still so much in that we haven't gotten... That aren't coming. So we're going to get the bench here, the carrot house here, and the carrot gazebo. But we're not getting this carrot, the chocolate. We haven't gotten the fence. And we haven't gotten the wheelbarrow. That's too many things. That's four. Fence, I'm going to go with farmhouse. And we're going to be taking this... Past Easter, we have to stop thinking like, oh, the carrots and money, that's just for Easter. This is fully spring. They're not keeping it as Easter as we've seen. This is called the spring event. Well, my chat is really far back. Okay. Um, hey, Sam. Oh, shh. Chris, they still haven't, but they are trying. And I have another video I'm working on to uh, do something fun with that. Bradley, I don't like the check vouchers either. They either, we're not forced to buy any of the other pets, but we're forced to buy the birds or we don't get a good return. Like, at least even out the return. That's all I'm saying. Like, if you were going to force me to either lose them for the money that I'm spending on a farm pass, which is expensive right now, then don't give me like two nails or two planks. Give me like a puzzle piece or a permit. Give me something. On the free road, I could possibly understand not giving me a puzzle piece or, but on the paid road, 16 diamonds does not equal how much it costs to get one bird in any way. Not fair. Not a fan. Raise my limit. I am actually completely full and do have to buy a farm tonight. Otherwise, I will not, or a bird tonight, because I will not get them on the farm road next month if I do. So that's something we need to do tonight. We, we have so much. Well, they didn't give us a New Year's Global event, but they did give us um, one for, well, we actually had like three right in a row right after New Year's. 
And then we did have one for Women's Day. And I'm okay with not having some of the things. And I think, hey Ed, I think we've hit the donation. So Hayday hasn't officially put anything out on their social media. But I've been looking at everybody's posts, especially in Discord and on Facebook, on what they've gotten. And I am... We are getting... Okay. I am 100% sure we hit the 50000 which means the donation should be going through for Fauna and Flora. Um, we know the hats that are on the chicks are, or are on the animals, like the chickens, we're going to be the farm pass next month. I'm sure they'll cover that in the Dairy News tomorrow. They should announce which of the old decos we're going to be getting back, whether it's the Easter tree. They don't have the arch out, the colorful arch with the eggs in, which makes me lean towards it's the Easter tree. Y'all get ripped off if that's what we're getting. Um, I expect them to announce that tomorrow in the Dairy News. Uh, Sam, we are going to get um, Diamond Deco Packs for starting tomorrow for the bench. That'll be your $5. Um, okay, hold on. Let me try to catch up. Okay. The new... De hey, Shelly. The new... These are all going to cost money. So the bench is $5. This is going to be the, is it $15 now? It's either, I think it's going to be the $15. And this is the middle pack, the carrot house. Or no, that's going to be the $20 pack, the carrot house. The middle one's the gazebo, I believe. Give me a second, I can tell you. Let me look at my notes. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Bench is the one with 130 for usually $5. The gazebo is the middle with 275 diamonds. That one's usually 10 unless they consider it a big pack. And then sometimes we get the $15. And then, but I think from the pricing I've seen, that should be $10. And then the carrot house, which will be our 570 diamonds and $20. So they are coming tomorrow as Diamond Deco Packs. And the company um, that I've told you guys about previously in another stream, uh, Ocelius, they're out of Melbourne. They are responsible for those three decos. They're also responsible for the chocolate egg bell here. And for the, where did it go? The wheelbarrow. This wheelbarrow. They're respons responsible for the like animation of those uh, five concept art pieces and turning them into deco for Heyday. And they're really, really cool company. They've done other things. Uh, so they are the diamond deco packs. So you get the diamonds and the deco. I know, Sam, you're probably going to have to wait a year, maybe two, for them to come back. Yeah, so the di the communication just stinks, y'all. Um, I'm uh, they should the diamond deco packs. I would think would last three days. Um, and as you know, a lot of these come back. In like the following year, 
the catalog ones haven't always or we're not done in getting them. So, like, we haven't seen this one from the catalog last year come back. Uh, this one, we, we may see. That was a burn pass, though. So, I don't know if we will see it. The... The topiary that Jen or Gizmo gave away um, and will be giving more away is going to likely... That one was a pack from last year. Um, we'll see if that comes back as something for Diamond. But usually we wait a year or two and some of them are either in the... farm pass or we're getting them in the diamond shop I do wish they would use the discount here really would and as you guys can tell I haven't spent any out of here it says leaving five days seven hours you guys only have three days seven hours to finish and collect as many chocolate buttons as you want I do not have them all Sam, everybody keeps asking. I don't know why they can't. They could. I, I mean, I do have a complaint with them. I think at a certain point, they should cap the cost for diamond coins. You know, like if you buy 500 of some of the, you know, and it can be a different amount depending on like, is it a path piece? Is it a fence? Is it, you know, just like the Easter pond? You know, some of those should have a cap, but they don't. There's something coming that I hope may change some of how this works. And it's not something that they're going to announce tomorrow. It'll probably be potentially, say, winter update or next spring. Um, but it's, I'm curious to see if they'll take advantage of it. Really, I think they need to cap the cost on some of the coins. So when I watch, like, the amount Chris spends, or even Jen spends, on some of the packs or the trees, there should end up being a cap instead of it keep going up in price every time you buy one. Once you get to a certain point, it should just stop. Because, I mean... Like, I get once you get to a certain level, there's nothing else to spend it on besides decorating your farm or buying things or helping out, you know, other farms. But seriously, that's not a good way to balance out the coin ecosystem. And I wish they would add some of the things like, even though, like, the tractor's really expensive to buy... Give us some of the stuff like the... Here, let's go back to Greg's. This fencing that comes on the wheel. Make that a high cost. Balance out your ecosystem. And that's what they're they're calling it. It's an in-game it's in economy. Okay. Balance that out by giving us a high price on maybe the fence postings. But still... Have it capped off at a reasonable price. Uh, yes. They deleted the Easter Pond. Um, I, I don't understand why they don't add more in. They could really balance out part of their system. And I think... I mean... There's a way to balance it, and I don't think they found it to get from the money from, like, our 
shops up here from buying diamonds for some of these, which honestly, the Charles Garden, I don't mind spending the diamonds on. That's not the worst thing. Or the extra spots. You know, I don't, there's enough other ways that they're getting diamonds that some of the decos could come back. And yeah, it limits that for lower level players, but we haven't seen any new coin deco. New coin deco. And I want to say, what, five years at least? Four, four or five years at least. Uh, I, will, I take that back. We got the one small gray, one small gray tree for coin. That's the only one we've seen in that time. So it's really annoying. And there's so much stuff to come. I'm going to go with like the fence will be a farm pass, which means if you're on the paid road, you only get five. Well, what are you going to do for that? I mean... Ooh. So they did take in the complaint of how short it lasts. Because, Mace, that was a big complaint that was put in. They had, like, I have the tractor one, and I want it gone. Because I know I'm not going to get the tractor. It's so low of percentage. I had a higher percentage of getting it from the movie tickets than I did. The movie tickets clearly did broken still, you guys. If you haven't figured that out, hopefully that'll come as a fix. I'm wishing we would get the spring trees. We haven't even seen the... Um, be, I mean, there's hope that we're going to get this green tree to come through and this golden tree. We got them in the land expansion. I'm hoping we'll get them in the shops for um for us but I just I know they're trying to make balances and they're trying to keep the money coming because clearly if anybody wants to argue that they've lost they haven't lost money from the change in the the lack of the personalized diamond offerings I guarantee you they had because I went from buying them on um, three farms every time they were offered at 30% off in the big pack to now only buying them every like the trunk of diamonds every couple of months. So I know like they need to keep working on some of that. And Tanya, it, I like guarantee there is something wrong with the diamond deco, the movie ticket ad coding. We saw it break last summer update. And it hasn't been right since. It, they tried to fix it in the fall. I have a feeling that while they haven't come out and said it, they're going to. It, it's one of those things like they're going to keep working on it and they'll tell us once. Bradley, you definitely need to watch my new video. I'm like, limit time. I'm going to go upgrade. I know you're big into trading. I am not a trader. So there's a little bit of a difference. So I think there's a lot of Easter eggs in the fact that we have farm pass like items on here. Maybe a tent. We're going to have the Chicken Valley. It is too soon. So the Chicken Valley will not start until the 3rd or 4th of the month. It always starts on the 3rd to 4th of the month. Um, I want to speculate it'll be April 3rd that it starts because we had 31 days. Uh, but that's not a guarantee. 
T. It's always posted 24 hours before. That is the soonest anybody can let you know what it is. Although it's already been decided. I wish it could be told sooner. They may tell us tomorrow. Now, the daring news may, may let us know. But I don't think they will. We have the county fair. Although that's so f funny they're talking about the county fair because we have nothing to give us any hints. And I had hoped we would see some other things coming up instead. You know, here's more of our previous. One of these is what you get. One of these nice lights, by the way. Nobody knows that. That's what you get in five. So tomorrow you need a... We'll, I'll be pinging, reminding everybody to collect. I'll collect mine. I'm curious to see what the county fair is. Are we going to... What's with what time? For the collection, Russell. Mm -hmm. Bunnies multiply. They do. They multiply and multiply. Oh, the time of the dairy news. Okay, so the one, the picture on mine is the. If you want to post the link to the dairy news, you can. Um, the picture on my thumbnail is not the picture from my um, YouTube time. It's from somebody else's. Uh, but it's going to premiere in the middle. Like, we are probably literally going to watch it during... Uh, whoa, wait. That's an hour before, or no, it premieres at reset time. Hey, Beth, you're fine. Like, it's interesting so that it's fair to everybody in the content career program. The time that it's to be shared is, it starts at 4 a.m. Eastern U.S. time, which is the trade-off. It's. It's the beginning of the workday for them. They're close to the beginning of the workday for them. Thank you very, very much, Russell. Um, I was very surprised that we are going to have it yet again. You, they used to do it when it was the same time for... All the content creators. It you know it was, it was never at the beginning, but I think because it's on a Friday, they tend to leave a little earlier. Can't get, quote me on that. It's also a holiday weekend and for some. Um, I, I I mean while they're it's gonna go quote unquote live. Uh, it's not live, if that makes sense. I hope you guys realize that. That's already re been recorded. Nobody's, uh, usually nobody's outside of chat, but nobody's actually doing the video live. I would love to see them do a talk live, potentially. But I don't know that they will. But the time is a little, um, yeah. Well, they say they're going, the way they have it set up, it looks like it's supposed to be, but it's not. Um, it's just a premiere.
Um, a little over three days to finish getting your chocolate bunnies. Everybody knows, hopefully by now, Alfred brings you your package again. They did that because that's the only way you could keep all of these boosters. I know last week they changed it. It was only one booster. Hey, Doris. But there's a lot more boosters this time. And even though they're not always the best, they make great placeholders. And that's actually worth more than the coin you'll get in return for anything left over. So is the coin uh, offerings here. So if you have the bunnies, you might as well spend them there. And I'm glad that they fixed it. I, no, I wish they would have been able to fix it so that it could have gone in to save it, but that's not how the booster system is set up. They're going to have to make some changes to that. So for now, it's just a, you know, it's off, back to Alfred delivery. And if you're somebody who needs money, getting things like axes or the dynamite or the markers, Anything, even if you don't per se need them, that you can sell will make you more money too. So you get a fairly good return. The So it depends on when you try to get the booster. But it does work now. I did try it on one of my other farms and it does work for me. Alfred will bring the booster and you can keep it. But it's almost the end of the... So it's the beginning of the day for some people, Sam, and then it's getting to the end of the event. The I did not participate even though I opened up more barn space. Uh, and as you can tell, they haven't made much difference there. I have here, I was hoping to get one more screw before I spend that last eight diamonds, which I explained in my video. It works for, you know, the land expansions here. If you just need, like, if I come down to this one, just need two, but it, it only works on that spot. So, no. The only one that has has it is Booster Pack 1. And that's because it has the random 3 and then the guaranteed 5 with the possibly 4. It doesn't show all of the 5s that are available in-game. It also doesn't... And they, I think because they're not going to offer, usually they're like the one stars in the booster packs we've had previously. Uh, the super boosters aren't included because of the pricing. Uh, but this is the closest way you'll be able to see the probability. Well, and the probability is wrong because you're guaranteed three fives on here and you're guaranteed but they don't have the dice on them we let them know they didn't fix it they did fix the easter pond so it's something oh yeah i keep forgetting i'm full what do i need to make for the next one cotton let's drop it over oh, to know something okay do it on some
So dumb. Like, oh, I'm still not used to this quite yet. I'm almost there. Yeah, usually there there are. And all right, I'm coming, Russell. I'm always afraid you're gonna move up like so fast by the time I find you. Oh, thank you. Now I have my screws. Thank you very much, Russell. I am saving up for my stew pot. I will, if I level up right now, I'm going to be broke. So I'm trying to slow my roll on leveling up. Because <laughs> that stew pot's a little bit pricey compared to what I have. And I should have participated today. But I could not find like a good supply of any one item. Like I could find a small amount of well, stacked up 134 blankets, but that wasn't enough. That was like the max I could stack up. But I was like, are you kidding me? And then I looked for red hats and I was struggling to get enough of any one of them. Because everybody participates in it now and it's so great. I love that you guys take advantage of it, but I did not get a good stack up to play today. So I'm working on trying to take advantage of the two time coin events we'll have coming up. You know, Sunday with boats, which will be your last day to send boats. So you can really try to use your boosters then for them. And, you know, reduce your time, put, you know, help out. If you need, look for people help who need help. Like if I have all of the bunnies I need by then, which is only like another couple hundred, I'll probably start putting help out on my boats to get them filled so that I can get them... I can still send, get the money, and then I'll also be trying to fill. And that's great. I've never been like a huge maker on days like today. And one of the day, one of these times, I'm gonna do these, do this event like. With a gen. <laughs> so that we can, she can show me what I'm doing wrong somehow. And I think it's my stock, but we'll see. I've been more concerned about getting spaces in the free. What else do we need to talk? Oh, we need to buy a bird. So let's buy a bird. Not that I want to, but got to buy a bird. So let's go up. And we can see how many vouchers I have. I have my max. And yeah, I didn't play it all today either. Yes, I know what you were going to vote. And I did think about it. Because it does take blue and I have quite a few blue. And I have to watch how many of the purple I spend. Because I'm trying to save up for the last of my guinea pigs. But I also kind of want the brown peacock. So I'll let you guys do a, we'll do a poll over on YouTube. Since I have more watching. And. 
and let's do start a poll. Bird. Brown. Peacock. This is also why I'm like really hoping uh, we get a good bird because I have so many There you guys go. Because I have so many thatchers, chick thatchers left. Mace. The brown, you know, it may not be like the most colorful, but it's still pretty. I definitely like it over some of the other birds. Yeah, I've been trying not to get them. And I've gone two a month or two without. Um, they do, <laughs> Russell. They really do. I've gone. I've purposely gone without getting the chick vouchers for two months, just to see a what I would get, and b because I don't want all of the. Um, I don't, I think I'm just trying to hold off. And then I realized I don't get good, uh, like I don't get a good return. So then I started buying the birds and I just don't like that because you're not forced. Sam, I'm sorry. I'm just not a big fan of the pelicans. They're not the... I think I would like them more if I could put them in the fishing area. And that's what it is. To me, it's where they're located. That they have to be on my farm. A pelican does not belong on my farm. Turkey? Sure. The peacock? Sure. The cockatoos? All right, it can fudge those. The two cons would have rather seen them in the sanctuary. The pelicans, the herons, let me put those in the fishing area or on in my town. I am just not a fan of a being force when you aren't forced to buy any other pet and then be also not like being able to place them where I would potentially want them. Okay, we have quite a few watching that haven't voted. I'm gonna give it like another minute and then Close it. Flamingos would be cool, but again, I would want them in my town or my fishing area, not in on um, on the farm. Yes, Katina, me too. I mean, I like the idea. They like. In theory, the idea of having one house was to give us more space because we are so limited to be able to decorate, but everything else has multiple houses, so, like, why, like, 
Russell, I don't know. We, we should be able to. That should not be that hard to do. Because I couldn't get it loaded fast enough, but next week, FYI, I have a new uh, layout to display. I'm super excited. I knew, like, not a farm layout, because we all know I don't really decorate, but a stream layout. I'm super excited for. Oh, turtles would be great. That would be perfect to add. It's a 50-50 split, you guys. If I'm picking... Good night, Shelly. Thank you for coming. Y'all, thanks so much for so many likes, too. I am not buying both, Ed. I am buying the bare minimum just so I get my next month, my five next month. One, in hopes that during the Dairy News they announce a good bird or... They, well, they already said bird, but... I would love owls. That'd be great. Or it is. It's 50 50. 18 votes. 50 50. If I'm picking, I'm picking the peacock. Yeah, like a barn owl would be so cute. And I know we've had it on some deco, but it's not the same. Oh, yes, Nana, please eat. Go eat. Hopefully see you in Ricky's stream. If he's streaming time. I don't know with the Dairy News time if he's streaming or if he'll... But as far as I'm aware, if he's streaming tonight. All right. You guys are really all of a sudden. We got 21 votes for the origami. Or 21 voted and it's 57% origami. I'm going to end the poll now. I actually like the update. I'm not to this because when I'm in here looking at it, I can see it very easily, and then I don't accidentally get, like, you don't have enough. You don't have enough vouchers left. All right, there we go. But... Check. That went off. Yeah, I do actually have that one because I wanted owls so much. Um, what was it? What was it called? So there's this one, the Owl's Nest. Is this the one you're thinking about? Or I think there's two of them that technically have. Yeah, that's the only one. The Owl's Nest is the only one with Owl's in it. This has the birds that are on the chalice. That's the bird tree. So all we have is that one with the owls. And it is really kind of cute, but I mean, 
So I actually have something special for naming the birds coming up because most of mine still need named. Uh, yes, the owl fishing. I don't have that one. I did not buy it. Um, is there any... Let's see. Collect your farm pass rewards if you haven't. Finish them tomorrow. Make sure you check your vouchers. Um... Chris has it. We can go look at Chris's. Farm. She always has a pretty farm. Always. Alright, where is it at? Somebody's going to have to point me in the right direction. Oh, I like the little folk dancer back here. Someone's gonna have to put me on the direction. Chris, where's the owl that got on your farm? <laughs> Someone's gonna have to put me in the right direction. Because I won't find it. They all start to blend in at one point. I hope we get the fountain square back, by the way, you guys. So many things we're missing. Thanks, Sam. Sam's just over here making stuff up now. Okay, I thought this was the ugliest deck. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Besides the gold... The big gold one. Yeah, I know there's a chick fishing. And the gnome. <laughs> Sam's just lost it. <laughs> okay. Sam's lost his mind. But Chris, you make this deck look pretty. There's the bird with the telescope and the freaky eye. The hot tub I wish I had. There it is. There's the owl. I don't have the lookout. I did not buy this one. Yes, the tent is from the tickets mace. If you if you didn't buy it originally. I did not buy this one. They're bird watching together. It's a bird lookout. That's what it was called, I believe. Tina, if you are not ready to upgrade and you're willing to do the the mining or you have the diamonds take one less than what you need so unless you have all three like here unless you have all three of these what I do is I wait until I just have one less than what I need and I spend the eight diamonds and then they go into la la land and they stay there. And it frees up my barn space. So I got more barn space yesterday by spending eight diamonds than I would have if I had up, like, increased my storage completely. So why I can keep doing it. So you get ten diamonds a day free mining. And you can get those by waiting. Hey, Cindy. Then, so I got 60 spots back open yesterday that way. 
and I don't have to wait. I can wait this way. And I'm still earning my tapes. I have quite a few tapes already since yesterday. So, if you haven't gone and watched and seen my new video about that, check it out. Leave it a like. I absolutely can't believe the number of people who were unaware that they could do that. And it applies to your town. It applies your ex anything with expansion materials the only caveat being if you spent it in like the fishing area in the tackle box let's say i spent the 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 th for the three here it's only going to stay here it doesn't give me three nails to go back over into my silo or go into my town and use them i'd actually have to have them but thank you, Cindy. I absolutely am blown away that people didn't know. Oh, that sounds really great for dinner, Mace. I'll do a bacon and pineapple. It is a huge game cha changer, I think, Chris, especially for, for people at like. A higher barn level because you guys are sitting having to wait a couple of days to, to upgrade and if you're spending just eight diamonds on one you're gonna free up sometimes a hundred and something slots it's more than what you're getting out of an upgrade and then you don't have to worry about it while you're waiting for the, like your rare items to accumulate enough especially if you don't trade or you're a free-to-play player but even for a non free play player, I'm not spending that kind of diamonds to upgrade. So I'm glad so many of you guys have liked it and left comments. And I was surprised that it was something new to even veteran players. It's just something I've done and I enjoy doing it. So I'm going to, I thought I'd share, especially with as many. To play there, Sam. With as many uh, two point farm visitor events. Yeah, that's so. See, that's the downside is it does take quite a bit, and I throw a lot into here. I have some, and then that's usually why you have it for really cheap in the paper. But depending on which ore it is, it gets used, it gets bought up. Silver is like the hardest one to sell, to be perfectly honest. But it also depends on which ones. Um, yeah, see, it works for, for free to play. And I know it's a hard thing for you guys to do because I've done it. And I don't do it always. I have a ton of mining tools because I don't always do it. I tend to buy mine. But all these are just from harvesting like wheat and playing the farm, like feeding my pets. I just get them from natural playing. So. Thankfully, um, thankfully I haven't had to try to trade, but, uh, let's see, vouchers for, we're getting, the county fair, I wonder if we're going, that's the other thing, the county fair, I'm curious to see what that is, the last time we had, like, a county fair type of theme was when we did the birthday and I'm really hoping that doesn't mean we're repeating the birthday. It wasn't like a horrible theme uh, and it was kind of fun 
but I want to see what they up it. Yeah, a lot of us got the Ferris wheel. They made it easy because it's birthday. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do with the county, county fair. It could be a really fun theme. It was the 10th birthday. It was the 10th birthday. We did, They did the cookbook. The was that, that was the 10th birthday, too. And it's hard to imagine that that was a few years ago. But we're coming up on birthday number 12 this year. And I don't think that'll be the theme for that. It'd be, I would be amazed if they announced June's theme in April or for going into April. So I'm curious to see where they're going to take it. I would love to know if you guys have any theories on what you think it will be. I mean, county fairs are starting to kick off. They usually don't, even in the yard sales. I have not seen the mask that is not on the updated list that I have for items. I mean, I have ideas on what we're getting... Sam, that's of my perspective there. But not quite as delusional as thinking you can get... Oh, well, you did get tickets to Taylor Swift. It's like me being delusional enough to think I'm going to see Taylor Swift in concert, I guess. And mostly because I do have a kid who is, like, a massive Swifty. Like, massive. Oh, definitely not worse than, uh, yeah, the Ferris Wheel's 10th birthday in 2022. 600 windmills are by far the worst. If I go on a farm with even, like, five of them, I start to get a little bit of vertigo. So. Yeah, Sam, you definitely, that was like better than lottery winning maybe there with that. I didn't either, boo. That was the thing that really drove me nuts is those of us who finished the, weren't even able to get one at that point. Like a lot of us, like including myself, didn't even get one. Even though I finished and I wanted it. But that's okay. Events are kind of... Tomorrow's or... Tomorrow's events are... Ugh. Farm pass if you need to do it on the bottom. Saturday's events. Pretty good because we have the town. And then we have truck orders for Ben and Sam. So that's a great day to run an XP booster. And then Sunday, last day to collect your chocolate bun to make get chocolate bunnies. Another good day potentially to run boosters for because a lot of people are going to potentially be rushing um, their boats or needing assistance with having them filled. And that's two times coin on Sunday for the boats. The other one will only help you if you randomly get, like, the cow feed, really, I think. That would be the only helpful one. Maybe the eggs. That event doesn't throw me. I'm waiting for them to come back with a two-time pet event. So we'll see. Uh, 
That is so the wrong. You can use hers. Throw it. Uh, Sam, you can throw hers up. I'm more active in there than... And there's more people. Man. I just don't... I can... Ugh. It's not easy for me to... Oh. Uh, I don't know why. Tina, that's so weird. Bird forest. I don't think I have bird forest. Oh, no, I do. I have bird forest. There you go. It has in out on it. One out. Probably. My kids are getting loud. I don't know if you guys can hear them. I hope not. Some. Back. Um. The Rustic Birdhouse. Nice. Don't feel bad. I actually probably should add that in there because. I'm more, I'm more active probably in there, easier to find, and there's more people than in my Discord. Okay. My kids, though, are fighting upstairs. I don't know if you can't, can hear them, but I can. So I am going to uh, end the stream with a reminder to collect your farm pass, collect your valley... I can easily do this part here, screen with you guys to do that part. Um, I still have some stuff to figure out for buying here, but I'm going to go check them. I'm going to check on my kids when they're being so loud. And sound like they're yelling at each other. I hope you guys can't hear them. They really, really, really usually don't fight like this. Thank you all for coming. We'll see you guys in Dairy News. Potentially, depending on Ricky streaming. Because that's about an hour into his stream. So, maybe watching it with Ricky. I will... See you guys next week. I have a new stream layout. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for watching the video that I put out yesterday. I've got another one coming. Y'all have a wonderful holiday weekend. Happy farming, y'all. Bye.